Hello, how are you? I'm Nikki. I'm a personal brand coach. I'm an actor, a speaker, a writer, a podcaster. I'm here to talk about one of my absolute pet peeves. And that's interesting, actually. I'm not usually here for the negative, but I am today. It's one of my pet peeves. And the second part of this is why it doesn't work for your business and your brand. So over the years of doing this, which has been over 20 years now, I realized the power of relationship building. And for me, a real success is not only if I do a good job in that instance, but I love getting repeat bookings or being the go-to person or somebody just landing in my inbox saying, are you available for this? Without kind of, you know, going back and forward and discussing, like they just know that you can do the job. There's a really lovely feeling about that because you've built that trust, people know what to expect and it's great. And it's easy as well. This is the thing, like sometimes we feel like when we're going to the next level, it has to be harder. But no, sometimes you just need to do more of the stuff that you're doing already. There's a little truth bomb for you right there. However, there are a lot of people that I don't know, that I don't know yet. There's people that I want to work with. There's television companies that I want like to get to know. There are journalists that I interact with on a daily basis. There are clients that have maybe inquired and looking at building a relationship. Which brings me on to a sentence, because again, it's it should be a question, but people make it a sentence, which is, on a basic level, hope you're well. Or sometimes people put, hope you're really, really well, or I hope you're having an amazing week. And I think we have to be really careful about this, especially when we actually have no idea who we're talking to or what's going on in their life. And especially if they're a stranger as well. And sometimes people put like, hope you're well, because it feels like, I don't know, right, this is sentence two, this is what we should do. It's polite, it's polite to say this. But if you're interested in actually building up proper relationships with people and interacting and engaging and actually giving a shit about actually how somebody is, you mean, obviously you don't have to go into somebody's life history. Stop asking closed questions. Because when people message me and they say, hope you're well, it's just a redundant phrase. It it kind of doesn't give anybody anywhere to go. Or if they do that thing of like, I hope you're having an amazing week, you might not be. It may be average. It may be good. It may be fair. It may be pleasant. Or it might be really shit. You just don't know. So one thing I want to say is if you run your own gig, if you're creating your own opportunities, if you want to bring in more clients, if you want to generate more opportunities, be willing to build rapport with people. Take the time to get to know people. And again, you can have boundaries in there. You don't have to be really over the top or over familiar or weird. I've seen that so often in acting as well, that people go the opposite way of being trying to be all like chummy with the casting director and really forward and inappropriate. I'm not talking about those things. But what I am saying is build real relationships with people because what will happen is when you have that lovely relationship, when you're in that place where you're all on the same page, that's when you're all going to really experience a great time and that's when your work's going to be really fulfilling. The money, the repeat bookings, all of that stuff will of course come with that, which is again great, let's not get this twisted, but... We all just want to do work and have a great time doing it, hey? You know, we hear about this all the time where celebrities or um, people who are working on a creative project, they work with the same people again because it feels really good and everybody wants to have a nice time at work. So consider that next time. Whenever you're pitching or reaching out or engaging with an old client or whatever it might be, be willing to have the space to actually be in the conversation. Don't just go, right, I've interacted, I'm done, 
give me your response because that is the energy that will leave people feeling a bit sticky or a bit like they're a bit annoying or yeah I don't know it just feels a bit generic or a bit copied and pasted you never want to feel like that obviously there will be times where you might share your bio and it will be the same bio you know you don't necessarily have to tailor it every time but remember when you're dealing with humans remember when you're dealing with people we have feelings we have needs and um that's what it's all about share a little love all right thanks so much i'll see you later bye